The best wedge player ever, Tom Kite, has to be in that conversation. We're going to take a look at his swing today on Tour Swing Tuesday. And then I have an anecdotal story I want to tell you at the end. So up here we have Tom Kite with a wedge right here. I want to show you a few things that I think can help you that, hey, doesn't take a tremendous amount of strength, just a lot of reps. Okay, so one of the things you want to work on is to try to get your left arm, and typically with a sand wedge here, to about 8 o'clock on a clock, and then dial in that distance. Okay, know that. And so you could do this 8 o'clock swing with a pitching wedge, a sand wedge, and a lob wedge, and then have three different distances to count on from 8 o'clock. Okay? Then what I want you to do is take it back a little bit further. You can see it gets a nice turn, goes up the shaft line plane, very steady head. And now we get into about a nine o'clock position. Again, use three clubs, um, pitching, sand, and lob, say, and know the distances that you carry each club. Very vital. I do this with my folks on a launch monitor because I want them to know carry distances very accurately, okay? And then the last one I want you to do is take it back to about 10 o'clock on a clock and then use those three clubs again, to get three more distances, okay? So if you add that up, if my math is right, uh, that's nine different distances with three clubs with three swings, okay? Now, the other part of this is that Kite was a prolific practicer, one of the best ever, and so he was able to dial these numbers in. And so I remember reading in his book, he would try to lay up on par fives or whatever to exactly 75 yards or thereabout. And he knew he could hit a 61 degree wet sand wedge, 75 yards. I recommend you do that. Lay up when you're playing to a yardage that you know that you can hit comfortably. And he did that tremendously. Okay, let's take him down into the hitting area. He's going to flatten that club right down and he's going to get... It really along the shaft line plane, so good angle of attack. Got to have that, folks. Uh, I can give you some drills to help you with that. You can see the body rotation. He always was excellent at that. Good strike, ball divot, A+, plus, right, head in position. And look at his backside, really stable there. No thrust forward. Um, that's outstanding. Arms out in front. You can see that club doesn't rotate a ton. Usually see that in great uh, wedge players, kind of toe up position right here. So I love that. And then up on the right toe. So little anecdotal story about kite i was watching him several years ago at a senior event champions event and he had his caddy out there and he's hitting sand wedges and he would start at 30 yards hit a few dial it in and move his caddy back to 35 do it again down to 40 45 and so on out to about you know 75 80 yards and dialing in those numbers most of the folks i see on the range are always hitting full shots full drivers full irons folks get your wedge in your hand dial up those numbers, say up to a hundred yards. If you can hit shots and you can hit all your shots with a sandwich, hundred yards and in, you'll go to stardom. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Any information, Gary Bates, Golf Camera on Facebook. Look forward to seeing you soon on Tour Swing Tuesday. Take care and bye for now.